Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here already, please hit that subscribe button before you leave. Today's video, I am going to be showing you how to get my everyday makeup look. I wear this look all the time, every single day. I'm not even joking you. I wear this to work. I wear this out. I wear this who knows where. I do this look all the time. So, I hope that you enjoy this. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. And if you want to see this tutorial, keep on watching. Alright guys, so first I'm going to prime my face with the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. Next, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Matte and Poreless in 115 Ivory. Now all I do is just dot this all around my face, make a line up my nose. And then the rest that's on my hand, I just put under my chin. I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. It is dampened and I'm just gonna work all of this foundation out. going to then put some um, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 130 Buff Beige for my bronzer um, slash just some powder foundation to set my liquid foundation. I'm going in with the e.l.f. Kabuki brush. Next, I am going to go in with the Ardell Blonde Brow Pomade. This is what it looks like, and it comes with this brush. It has just kind of an angled brush on this end and a spoolie on this end. And even though I just got my brows colored in, they're still a little splotchy just like most eyebrows are so I go in anyways and what I like to do is I use my already used makeup wipe and with the angled brush I just kind of run it along this to get it a little wet because then it kind of picks up the brow pomade a lot better on the brush And I'm just going to go in and fill my brows in. I'm going to go in with my Naked 2 Urban Decay palette. What I normally use is this third color in. It's called Booty Call. For this inner crease, I just use my finger because it gets in there a little better. I normally work it from the inside out and cover about probably three-fourths of your eyelid. Then I am going to go in with both tees, which is this matte, kind of matte taupe color, and then this one, which is suspect, which gives a little bit of a more shimmery color. I am going to go in with the brush that this Naked 2 palette comes with. <laughs> Yeah. 
I always like to take my finger, mostly my ring finger, and kind of buff the two colors together a little better. And I like to bring the darker color in more on the top here to give my eye more definition. Once I am done with that, I am going to go in with my liquid liner, which is from L'Oreal. It's the Voluminous Liner Noir. This is what it looks like. It kind of has a little bit of a cheetah print. This is what the tip looks like. It's a felt tip, but the top is very flexible. So if you do like a more stronger tip, I wouldn't suggest this, but it still works very well. <laughs> to go in with a more simple look and you didn't want to do a liquid wing what I use is the Maybelline line express eyeliner in black and I'll just put this on my upper lid and that's it I'll call it a day but I'm going out to lunch with my mom today so I figured I would do a liquid wing next I am going to curl my lashes And for mascara, I am going to use the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express in Flared. This is the packaging. I love how it has the little wings. It reminds me of Victoria's Secret Angels. <laughs> but the applicator looks like this. It's kind of bent. And then if you flip it over, it has that top part. So what I'm going to go in with first is I'm going to go in like this. <laughs> We all know that we get mascara on our eyelids. So what I do is I go back in with my makeup wipe and I just dot and dab away at the mascara. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Touchable Taupe Lipstick in 940. This is the packaging. 940 it's like that taupey color this is what it looks like all right now to set this face in this look i am going in with the maybelline master fix wear boosting setting spray it says it locks in makeup for long lasting finish so I just spray it on on there. Ooh. So guys, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.